we are going to cover equivalent fractions. And to start off, I have a sort of whiteboard here. We can make a pizza shape circle and then cut it in half. Now, equivalent fractions means fractions that have the same value, but different numbers. I'm going to show you what that means by the same value. So to have one half of the pizza here, and this would equal one over two, because the numerator shows that we have one piece out of two pieces. But let's say I'm not just going to cut the pizza in half, but in a bunch of pieces. In that case, let's make First, we'll make four pieces, and let's just go for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What can happen if I still eat half the pizza? I'm actually eating one, two, three, four pieces out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the four out of eight is the same as one out of two. We didn't eat more pizza, or I didn't eat any more pizza, even though I had more slices. The hole was just cut into more pieces. The other way to find four eighths from one half would be to multiply. So you can make any equivalent fraction by just multiplying by the same number because whatever you do to the numerator has to be done to the denominator. I'm going to multiply this one half by two. And that means, by the way, to show it, one, the numerator, times two, and the denominator is also being times the two. So one times two equals two for our numerator our new numerator, and 2 times 2 equals 4. Now, of course, the pizza was 4 out of 8 pieces, so I would have needed to multiply 1 half by 4, actually, to get the equivalent fraction that I showed before. 1 times 4 is 4, and then t 4 times 2 will be our denominator for 8. It's a pretty watery 8. The same thing can be done to make equivalent fractions, like if we have 3 fourths. I could multiply by 2 to get the equivalent 2 times 3, 6, and 2 times 4 is 8. They're different numbers, but it's the same value and the same space that the numbers are talking about which is what we showed in the pizza image. 
Let's times something, a fraction, by more than just two. We could take one half and times it by three. One times three is three. And three times two for denominator is six. So we know that three sixths equals one half. We can also divide if we use three. How many times does three go into three once? And how many threes do we need to make six? Two. That's the same value, but different numbers.